everyone I am back and I have another diamond painting tool storage thingy that I seen that is new and I picked it up so I could review it and show it to you stick with me and we'll open it together We are so busy moving our booth down to our new shop, our new vendor mall in Lawrence, South Carolina, and on the square, on the square. Um, designs by D and Friends Vendor Mall. So if you're around town, around near, come see us. We're gonna have over um, spitting bubbles. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, opening June the fourth, so. We're going to have over, what, 17, 18 booths of different vendors of craftsmen, antiques, floral artists, uh, designers, um, leather earrings, some jewelry that me and mom make, and some crafts, and all kinds of things like that. So, um, come see us. Anyways, here is the box that we're going to open up, and also my husband is probably it, it probably is going to be having to have a pacemaker due to a slow heart rate it gets down to 32 and uh, a minute so yeah he's probably he, here i go with the probably again see we just found out yesterday so i'm still in that mode before it's really not sunk in yet it's a scary situation so yeah he is going to be getting a pacemaker so pray for us and pray for him and pray for a family member who lost a baby that was she was going to be delivering it this week and um it must have been an infection or something that they did not spot or something because she found out when she went to the hospital to have it that it wasn't alive so please be praying for them as well Okay, let's get back to some some things that you tuned in for. And this is a stand for, this says a stand for a light board. So, let's see if it, what it I did not bring my scissors. I always forget because I'm, I'm using them for crafting in another, you know, my dining room. <laughs> so it'll take me a little bit to get open and this is another Santa Direct goodie that I've seen I always keep my eyes out for their new stuff because I like their quality and fast shipping it comes very quickly you don't have to wait a month and they always try to get in the newest uh things and sometimes before any other people get it so um that's a good thing and that's why i watch santa direct very closely you know and um here it is it looks like an art easel box it really does and it's similar to an art easel and if you see these are the little closures that you would open it up and there you go. Am I am I upside down? I don't think so. There's the bottom. You can see the little the little foot, feet things. So I'm gonna move you down, and we'll look at it on the table. Okay, here we go. It has. Oh my gosh, that's on hinges. If you see. Okay, here is obviously the bottom, right? Here is the top. Now the top also has these little openings. There's how you open up this, all right? It has one of these things. So when you open it up like this, you open it up and then you have this to figure out how, what lean you want to put your light pad and your um, little diamond painting on here. This obviously isn't for huge diamond paintings, but if you like to do small diamond paintings 
or if you want to put a drawing board that's a little or a board or something on this that's a little bigger you can and you can adjust your lean this would be good for traveling okay this would be wonderful for traveling and now it has a drawer I do believe and for some reason there we go there's the little knob that you have to put in Whoops. okay I just pulled it on now I'm destroying it everybody I'm sorry um, here is the screws now there is one little teeny tiny screw and I'm, I know this doesn't go on that there's a little extra teeny tiny screw and then they've put in the screw for your knob that goes on there that's if you have problems trying to open that bottom drawer I did I did and I didn't realize there was a little hole right here in the center and that's where you put the screw in and then twist the knob on okay and that way <laughs> it's a lot easier to to um, bring that front end out, that front drawer out, okay? So I'm not gonna do really tight. Well, I better, as tight as I can. So I don't want it to be one of those knobs that get loose at, over, uh, over, over the time. But here is that little screw, and I think what that is, is an extra, because I don't see any other place to put it in case one of the little screws comes out of these little little places here if they work their way out you have an extra extra excuse me i can't talk i'm, gonna, I'm getting choked an extra screw if something starts working itself out so this goes back in let's get it in there there's actually little dowels on each side. Let me put this back down before I try to and see. You can put your your um, diamond painting. Let's see if it's too chunky. Nope, this one will fit. See there? All right. And then if you have, let's say you have some diamond diamonds in in your little baggies, those will go in there. You know. Um, you know. I don't have to explain it that to you you know you know what that's for and i'm going to slide this back in and close it back up and there you go it doesn't have a hand yeah it does there it is i knew as soon as i said it it probably does have a handle it's a little sticky on the sides but that's just i guess where the it's it feels like it's real leather maybe but you can rub that or put some powder on that and that'll get rid of that sticky okay it's a little sticky from the process but anyways it is wood solid wood it's not press wood or anything like that it is good quality look at these big long hinges here and see there's more little uh, screws in case you need if those work work out you've got another screw I always recommend like what mom does whenever she finds like an antique or whatever and one of the screws has kind of gotten the hole worked a hole a lot bigger puts you some glue in there and then put the screw back in that's always a good thing to do even if it's not worked the hole for the screw uh, bigger you know stripped it you can always put a little glue anytime you're going to put your uh, things together like this just a little little uh, super glue or something but I just I love this this is really nice this is a nice little carrying case for your for um, like if you're doing a, a small diamond painting and you want to take your light pad it has the light pad thing on here that you can put it up there and then you would clip your diamond painting to your light pad and it would just literally lay in this little area and if you like a, a good lean there you go that's the that's the lowest and it would just go right here and you could just 
diamond paint away. It doesn't matter if you're in the park or anything like that. So I really, really like this. I love traveling with diamond paintings and this is really nice. I like it. Um, a lot of us have several different A4, A2s, A3 light pads and an A4 would fit this just perfect. Um, all of them would except the big one, the A2. I wouldn't put an A2 on this one. Um, A3 maybe I would try it at home before you would commit to taking it. But anyways, this is really nice. I like it. I like the quality. All the screws seem to be in there really nice and tight. Uh, even though they gave you ex an extra little screw. And you know how hard it is to find the teeny tiny ones like that. Um, and it's got a little wooden knob. Isn't that the cutest thing? But I'm telling you. And a handle. So pick it up if you like to travel with your diamond paintings. Um, even if you like to just go from room to room, if you want to be in your bedroom or if you want to be in the living room or if you want to be and you, you don't really have a desk, you can use, um, I have a, uh, hospital type rolls under the bed table for your bed, for the bed, you know, it goes up under the bed and the table's over you. I, I will actually use that whenever um, I want to diamond paint in the nighttime and I'm, I'm in the room with my husband and I have a, we have a TV and everything, so that's great. Um, so, if you like it, I totally think it's worth it. All right, everyone, I hope that you like this little thing. I'm gonna open it up so it will, so I can hold it up, get a, uh, oh look, there we go. Open it up. I'm fumble fingers today. And I'm going to show what it looks like for the thumbnail on YouTube. So there you go. Everyone, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. And if you like it, it is worth the money. It's solid. It's good craftsmanship. It's good quality. I don't see anything wrong with it. So, go to Santa Direct, and, and I'll leave the link below for you if you would like to pick it up so it's a lot easier for you to find. Anyways, I hope every one of y'all have the re good rest of your weekend. It's Friday, and good luck. God bless you uh, and whatever you're doing. And thank you so much for praying for me. I have a friend, Tammy, that reached out for, uh, from afar, on my Facebook uh, page, shot me a, um, um, a message, and um, she cannot travel very far. Uh, she's in a wheelchair, and so pray for her. She loves to diamond paint and uh, enjoys uh, seeing these type of videos, and it's just a very sweet person. So I have the best subscribers and friends on YouTube, I bet out of everybody on YouTube, y'all are the best. So if y'all want to shoot me a message, y'all can. I may, sometimes I'm real busy and I'll try to, as hard as I can, to get back with you as fast as I can. So every one of y'all, I love y'all. Bye.